Hey everybody, when you're editing and you're cutting between two different scenes or two different camera angles, one thing to be aware of is where the eyes are, both the viewer's eyes and also the subject's eyes. As an example, as I'm talking to you now, I've added a digital zoom in post to zoom in on my face just to make the shot look more interesting. Notice though that when this zooming in is happening, where you're looking on your screen isn't really changing. I'm going to do the same thing once again. I'm talking to you now and once again we've got that digital zooming in happening in post, but you might feel that this version doesn't quite feel as smooth or as natural. That's because your eyes are looking at my eyes on your screen and the position of my eyes on your screen is changing as the zoom in happens. This also applies if you're cutting between two scenes or perhaps two different camera angles of the same subject. For example, I'm talking to you now from this camera angle. If I cut and change to this camera angle, you probably found that cut a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit jarring because the position of your eyes on your screen had to move across to my new eye position. In the first shot on the left here, you were probably looking at my eyes in this position, but after the cut, the position of my face and eyes changed a lot in the frame. That means you had to move your eyes to a new position on your screen, which might have felt a bit unnatural or jarring. Let's try that again. I've reset the camera back to this angle. And once again, we're going to make a cut to this second camera angle. But notice that that cut probably felt a bit more natural and a bit less jarring. That's because my face and eyes were here before the cut. And after the cut, they were roughly in the same position within the frame. So when you're planning your cuts or scenes or angles or when you're doing your storyboarding, you can take the eyes have it principle into account. If you're doing digital zooms in post-processing like we saw earlier, all you need to do is use the guides feature of whatever editing software you're using. At the start of the zoom, set a keyframe on the scale and the position. Now use the guides to mark where the eyes are at the start of the zoom. Move to the end and add a scale keyframe to create the zoom in effect. Notice by the end of the zoom here that the eye is no longer on the cross on the guides. Now just add a position keyframe at the end and move the position of the video to make the eye line up with the cross. Now as the zoom happens, the eyes will stay in roughly the same place. You don't always have to follow this principle of course, and sometimes it doesn't even make sense to try. For example, if you're cutting from an extreme wide shot or establishing shot, and you're cutting to an extreme close up, you're probably not even going to be able to get the eyes anywhere close to the same position in the frame. You can also deliberately not line up the eyes in the frame if you want to shake up the viewer or deliberately create a feeling of unease or confusion. I do a lot of editing and filmmaking content on this channel. If that's something you find valuable, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications, that would really be appreciated. I'm Jason Roberts and I'll see you in the next one.